My father doesn't feature at all in my earliest memories, mainly because I didn't know him. And as I've later discovered, he disappeared before or possibly just immediately after I was born. didn't particularly occur to me that I was of mixed race until I was, ooh, I think, around about eight or nine when I met a friend of mine who shares the same heritage, of mixed heritage of Chinese and English. I invited him to come and play with us and went home and said to me, Mum, I've got a new Chinese lad. And Mum says, no, he's like you, half and half. And I said, pardon? <laughs> that was sort of my first recollection. There were about 20,000 Chinese men here. After the war, it was a matter of the companies had lost a lot of money. A decision was made that they would deport these men. For the families behind, a lot, you know, caused a lot of distress. Nothing was questioned about it. Uh, there was only one question asked in Parliament by a then politician called Bessie Braddock, who was a local Liverpool person. Um, when we checked, there was no real response. Apparently 300 women that turned up for um, a question to be asked, why, what had happened to our men, um, just seemed to have disappeared. We worked out, they said they had between, you know, three, four, six children. Between them. We worked out there should have been about 1,200 or so of maize, you know, Eurasians. A lot of the women would have gone back to their, to their family in Preston, elsewhere in the country, um, so the children were put into orphanages in some cases, or some cases were taken with them. It's a big range of things that happened to the different families. A lot of the mothers really suffered terribly. A, that you'd been in a, a relationship with a foreigner, um, and whether you were married or not, that in itself was a problem. So you had strike there. If you had a child, you had the second strike because the child was of mixed race. Third would be whether or not you'd been owned or disowned by your family. Well, typical, isn't it? You've been left, you know, that's what you get for marrying a foreigner or whatever. A lot of our mothers did go to their grave believing they'd been deserted, which I found was very sad. The decision had been made. I had seriously thought at one point of saying we're Atlee's orphans because, you know, he had to give the clearance for it to be done. So, statements like, I can't quite remember the actual words, but you know, this is of no great importance. And I thought, well, you know, 20,000 men, it is a bit important. And where did they go? What happened to them? Why? I think over the years we've just accepted things. Um, I mean, I certainly accepted it. It didn't occur to me that there was a story behind this, that I didn't get part of that culture, I didn't get part of that history. To find out that he might not have left by choice was rather nice, and that has been a very positive thing for a lot of the people that I've associated with. From my perspective, I'd like to think that obviously there's some of me, some of him in me, or me there. Some of the people, it's, it's, it's brought a bit of closure to them, and that's been a positive thing.